Hello fellow modelers, here is the first part of a P51 video series. Today it will be about riveting and painting. I cover the plane surface with Mr. Color Surfacer 1000. It also works as a primer. I rescribe panel lines with hobby line engraver. Now I am going to make a rivets on the whole model. I suppose this commands. OMG, rivets on the Mustang. On the original plane where rivets covered the party, so it was perfectly flat. So why did you do that? Yes, rivets were covered with a party, but party is a different material than color or aluminum, and therefore after some time changed color. It was still flat, but the color on the rivets was much lighter than on the rest of plane. I think if you imitate rivets or not, it really doesn't matter, just do what you like. Here is the difference for the comparison. I found these rivet blueprints on the Google. you can download them, the link is in, in the description under the video. First, I mark rivet lines with a pencil. It really helps me to make straight lines. I use Doshek rivet tool with a 0.75mm pitch. It is perfect for this scale. The holes after riveting are very raised, and therefore I smooth the rivets with a sponge and paper. But now the rivets are clogged with the dust after sanding, so I blow off the dust with an airbrush and water. I paint wheels with acrylic colors. I do not need an airbrush for small parts like this one. Some fun with engine. I paint base with acrylic black. I like shading, therefore I highlight engine with a light grey color. I 
I paint small details with a brush. I use Tamiya height finish pointed brush small. I promise you that I will paint the model in this episode. The silver color is very easy to paint, so it will be very quick. First of all I apply black primer. Silver is then much more pronounced. I spray silver with very low pressure, 0.7 bars, it is 10 psi. I use Mr. Color 8 silver diluted with Mr. Color levering thinner. Silver 8 is nice, but the better look has all cut polished aluminum. I spray very thin layer. So easy, isn't it? I use for several colors with resin varnished, made by Alcat. Classic varnish absorbs shine. Good tip, the major problems with water slide decals is varnish around the decal. It will be always visible on the silver surface. I cut off varnish with sharp scissors. I apply under decal Mr. Mark Setter, it helps me set the decals properly.
do not forget at symmetry Okay, that is all for this episode. Next time you will see more decals and painting. Thanks for watching and see you next time.